in order to get to all like this, people must get trust and must hold it and must be accountable. Muhammadu Buhari made several promises on the campaign trail. 174 of them, according to the group Center for Democracy and Development. The group has now categorized the promises into 20 different sectors and using this website it calls Buhari Meter, it is tracking every single promise made by the president to show how he is delivering on them. Normally during elections, politicians make promises, promises upon promises without any intention of actually actualizing it once elected into office. This we have actually seen in the last 16 years of our democratic sojourn in Nigeria, you know, since 1999. So it's to do something entirely different where we can monitor the implementation of the campaign promises of the APC government led by the new elected president, uh, President Muhammad Buhari. And that is why the meter is actually named after him, Buhari meter. So this assesses the implementation of his campaign promises. Beyond tracking the promises, the Buhari Meter website has all the interactive features where citizens can rate the performance of the government and even send in reports on government projects in their communities. Then there is also a verification model where you have the spot checks. It's an m &E. So it's not just about you as a citizen going on the platform. It is not about me sitting in this office and assessing um, doing the policy analysis. It is also to make periodic visits to communities to hear what they see and also to actually view some of the ongoing projects of the government, the level of implementation and the quality of the implementation process. So the whole thing is to bridge governance, is to know for once all the elected officials accountable and above all give citizens a voice in this democracy. With internet penetration and access still low in Nigeria, not every Nigerian would be able to use the opportunity the Buhari meter provides. But that is still not stopping them from making their own demands of the government, even though they have doubts about the government fulfilling its campaign promises. Paul Atama, a local shoemaker, is one of them. Some of the materials he used for his work are imported. And with electricity still epileptic, he relies on his generator to drive his business. What I want the Ecomi government to do for us is to bring in portraits down, then re repair our refinery so that it will be working, and uh, uh, repair our electricity so that we can be generating light. As you can see, when I was doing this uh, work, I used power to power it, a generator to power it. It's not supposed to be like that. This is Nigeria, we have everything here. I don't know why it's taking government 20 years to repair, t to put things in order. It is not supposed to be like that. If import duty is down, this sold that I'm, I'm, I'm buying for 500 naira, it's supposed to be 200 naira. President Buhari shoulders an enormous burden of expectations. Even though he's pleaded with people to temper those expectations, he and his party know they are under very close scrutiny and would come under enormous pressure in the coming months if they failed to deliver on their campaign promises. The Buhari meter has already begun reading. Deji Badmo, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.